Hello everyone. Welcome to Brillbook. In this video, we will have a look at configuration for non-conformance. We will cover the following topics in this video. Creation of non-conformance activity type, creation of quality fault type, creation of non-conformance root and root step, creation of non-conformance root step dependency and root step action, creation of resource requirement for root step. Then we will see mapping of product or component for non-conformance root and at last we'll see submission and approval of non-conformance root. Now for creation of configuration for non-conformance, we need to log in to Brillbook. Here I have already logged in with quality admin. Now for creation of activity type, navigate to quality, expand quality menu list and then click on activity type. Here on the activity type list page with the help of create button, we will create new activity type. Add name for activity type. I will add name as surface cleaning. Then click on save button. Our non-conformance activity type, activity type is now created. Now our next step is to create fault type. For that, click on fault types click on create button and on the create page add name for fault type I will add name as rough surface and then click on save button after creating fault type we will create non-conformance root for that click on non-conformance root and then click on create button on the non-conformance root create page add name for the root I will add name as washer non-conformance root then select site and then click on save button our non-conformance root is now created and different tabs like non-conformance root step product and component appeared. Now we will create non-conformance root step. For that, click navigate to non-conformance root step tab and then click on create button. On the non-conformance root step create page, you can see there are different sections like basic and costing. Here I will add data into basic section. I will add name as uh, surface cleaning then set priority non-conformance activity type I will select activity type as surface cleaning then location processing hours per unit then set cost per unit and then click on save button our non-conformance root step is now created and dependencies resource and action tab appeared we will create dependency for other root step because we need two root step for creating dependencies now we will create resource requirement. For that, navigate to resource tab and click on create button. Add name for resource requirement. I will add name as machine. Then select site. Select type. I will select type as resource. You can select resource group or capability. I will select resource as machine set hours per unit select costing i will select cost type as per unit then set cost and efforts now click on save and close button our re resource requirement is now created and we are redirected to the non-conformance root step detail page under the resource tab you can see our resource requirement is created now we will create actions for that navigate to actions and then click on create and then click on full form 
add name for resource require uh, for uh, root step action i will add action name as surface cleaning and then click on save button now we will go back to the non conformance root step by clicking on the hyperlink into the field with this we have successfully created our root step similarly we will create our another root step and then we will create dependency for that for that we will now go back to the non conformance root by clicking on the hyperlink into the field of non conformance root now we are on the detail page of non conformance root again we will click on the root step tab then click on create button add another name for the non conformance root i will add name as cutting underscore washer then set priority i will set priority as medium then select non conformance activity type i will select activity type as cutting then select location set processing hours and cost and then click on save button now we will create dependency for this root step for that navigate to dependencies tab and then click on create and full form here add name for the root step dependency i will add as add name as cutting dependency then dependent on i will select activity as surface cleaning then iteration i will select initiation as start post parent start you can select initiation as per your requirement and then click on save and close button a dependency is created we can see under the dependencies tab dependency has been added now similarly we will create resource requirement and then action for this root i will add name as cutting machine select resource machine and then click on save button after creating resource requirement we will create action now we have successfully created our uh, non conformance root step and we have also seen how to create dependencies now we will go back to the root detail page and we will see how to map product or component into the non conformance root for that navigate to product here with the help of add existing button we will add product into the non conformance root here we will select product as washer and we can see all the product related to washer category has been appeared into the list now we can select multiple products at a time and with the help of okay button we will add 
the products into the non conformance route similarly we can add components for that navigate to component add existing button select components and then click on okay button and with the help of delink button we can remove the added component Sim similarly we can use this delink button for product to remove the component from the non conformance route now after adding product or component into the non conformance route our next step is to submit and approve our non conformance route for that click on approval and click on submit button now we have submitted our non conformance route and you can see we have received a notification regarding the approval of non conformance route when we click on this notification we will be re redirected to the non conformance route detail page so now we are already on the detail page and with the help of approval and approve button we will approve this non conformance route so click on approve button and our non conformance route is now approved here you can see status is marked as approved and with this we have successfully created our non conformance route so in this video we saw how to create non conformance activity type how to create fault type then we saw creation of non conformance route and route step creation of root step dependency and root step action then we saw mapping of product or component into the non conformance route and then we saw submission and approval of non conformance route thank you